Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by. I'm Suzette from Suzette's Craft Studio. I have got a whopper of a journal to show you. I love this. I'm calling this Harmony. Um, and let's get started because there's a lot. And I will try to go through this as quickly as possible. We've got this lavender um, sh uh, chiffon ribbon holding it together. Um, there's a lot of lace on the front here this is kind of a layered look so we've got three different papers here's one here's the purple back here and then this in the background it's just kind of a, a hole peeking through um, and then I don't know if you can see it there's some uh, gold shimmer tool that's um, covering her and then there's some um, very light lavender uh, lace on this side peeking coming out and over and then we've got this kind of fishnetting type look lace at the top and carries over. And then last but not least, my favorite is this uh, wedding lace. This is something you'd see on a wedding dress and it carries over all the way to the back. The um, binding is, or the, the spine here is three and a half inches. And then this is nine by six. All right, let's get started because this is going to be... Um, a whopper of going through all of this. There's a lot in here. I think there's 120 um, book pages. I'll have the details. Um, I'll go back and, and look at it and put the details in the description. But here is the first page. We've got this window um, little spot, tuck spot here with this card. You'll see this color throughout. I just, it was an inspiration, some tropical paper in here and I just love it. Um, but that's so pretty that you don't even really need to put anything in there. But if, when it comes out, it's, you can still use it on its own. There's some delicate lace back here, some crocheted lace on this side. And then over here, we've got a flap. Um, but before I tip it over, there's a little pocket here with this little journaling card. Again, more of that kind of salmon-y, pinky color. Um, get in there. And then when you flip this over, there's a pocket here with some more uh, flowers and then a little journaling card, some stamping on the back. And then on this side, this is a collaged paper that I've made a side pocket out of with this journaling card and some more of that crocheted lace. There's some lace here too. It says Dazzle. And then this is coffee dyed paper. And then I added some of that salmon color distress ink to kind of blend in and pull in that color. I don't know if that comes over on the camera. And then this is old wallpaper. I don't know if you can kind of see the sheen and the texture in that. It's fun. And I've just added some lace. And then I've added, um, I had... Uh, um, collage some paper and I liked it so much that I scanned it so I reused that um, I just thought the purples pulled pulled in very well with this page you could write over both um, pages some more writing area again very a lot of florals in in this one um, here's a little tuck spot a little um, paper so you can see that there's a tech spot but you could use that right on the back or um, use it as decoration throughout um, again some pink this is a little ballerina here with a pocket um, this little mini postcard and I'm gonna try to talk fast sorry writing area a little word search I thought that'd be kind of fun to add that in here here is my normal four slot pocket I do have a tutorial on how to do this I have this little butterfly it's a little tech spot with that little ticket here's the first tag here some of that same little um, chiffon and this has a little pocket in there with this card you could add a word your name a little ticket there another little mini pocket and then there's this journaling card, journal on the back, but I've added another pocket to that with that ticket in there. And then the four slots is here, one, two, three, four, and then the little uh, butterfly peeking out in the back there. And then here we've got that tropical theme um, or scene here with a journaling card. And then there's a little journaling card here. You could 
um, make it smaller or you know cut it in half and make a little pocket to go on this side whatever you so choose I did round the corners though um, and then on this side a little tuck spot with this little stamped paper again just showing you um, it's just a, a little page folded in half but there was a tuck spot there this gorgeous gorgeous flamingo I love that oops Here's the center of the first signature. Got that whole big area for writing. And then again, carrying over that tropical look. Um, here's this um, tag here. Tuck it in the belly band. And then on this side, we've got carried the green. Same thing as that watercolor. And then this is a little corner pocket. Same thing, just a little piece of paper was stamped. And then here is avocado avocado dyed paper so that light pink is coming in from the avocado water um, and then I've added some distressed ink to pull in those tropical colors here's double layered paper flowers and then you just open it up and it just extends your writing area and then you have that on both sides Here's that, um, an envelope, a tropical or nautical envelope, and then there's a little card inside. Get right on both sides, and then just adding to that nautical color theme. Um, here is it's a little bit of collaging and that little pocket. Same thing, collaging here, and then a blank uh, ticket that you could you know, add your name, date, a favorite number, a favorite word. Here is a little pocket with some of that lace. And then here is another little side pocket with this paper flower, whoops. And then I've carried it to where when you tuck it in, you can see the two flowers. Um, but this little butterfly has a little tuck spot. So that's why I put that little piece of paper there. One more writing paper. On this um, wallpaper, I've added some lace and that wax seal. And then this note card. Here's another flap, again, collage layered paper. And then there's a little recipe book back here that's just showing you there's a pocket. And then you open it up and there's another pocket. This is a little playing card. And then you could, you know, flip it this way. Again, just showing you a little interest of a little paper notepad or you know write this way and then there's that matching card on the back and then when you open this up there's more writing area again the same card and then um, you could extend your writing area down here or it has washi tape so you could take it off and put it somewhere else if you so wanted to this side, isn't that pretty? So um, this is a belly band and it's pretty on its own and it sticks up a little bit. Um, but I added this little note card and this has little uh, tags on each side sticking out, right? And then you open it up, I don't know if I can get it open. And then it's just more writing area. And then on this side, we've added this little pocket with some lace, and then here's this large journaling card. And then here is a postcard of um, Robert K Kushner, Kushner, um, is his artwork, right? But they've made it postcard. And then this is a um, invisible paper clip. I've decorated on both sides. It, you leave that lip, lip, just makes it easier to grab and do your paper, but you'll see on the other side. I mean, come on, I just said it was easy. Um, and then there, so you could add something else here. Here's some old accounting paper. Here's a little pocket with this little tag. And then this was kind of fun to make, um, an old, obviously, window envelope. And then I've made this journaling card with these little faux, um, uh, checks, cashed checks already, and then you flip this little tab down, and then there's again some old, old paper, diff three different sections to write on. And then here, this paper, it's just extra paper that I've added in here. You could, you know, fold it up and write on, write on the back, 
or take them, rip them out and um, uh, use them for decorating, making, you know, adding it to the back of your collage tags or whatever it may be. Um, some dotted paper. I don't know if you guys remember or if they still do where they you connect the dots to make a square, a game. Um, I, I used to do that when I was a kid. Um, here is some tracing paper that I've added, some ruffles. I do make these ruffles and have them for sale in my Etsy shop. Um, and then again, some of that purple sweet pea paper. Um, here's a little envelope, again, another wax seal with this little card inside. And then I do have a little card here that obviously that was a tuck spot. Um, journal on the back, but I just added it here so you can see there's a pocket there. Again, some writing area, very old, that is naturally aged uh, music paper. Again, some more writing area. And then here is the centerpiece of the second signature, which is beautiful. I love that pink. I think they're dogwoods. Um, but with this bird as a corner pocket, and then this journaling card, I just put a little bow there underneath that. And then over here is two pockets. And then I've just added these little circle medallions in here. Um, and you could either just write them on the back and put them back in or on a different page, glue the bottom part and make them a little tuck, a little tuck area. Um, but then there's some lace down here that may not come over on the camera. And more writing area. We could add a picture there or just write over it. That's that wallpaper. And then here I've got a rose die cut. Um, and then you open it up and there's a glassine bag to add some goodies in there. And then I've added that um, little bird and the keys and the feathers really pretty to kind of go again in harmony with the colors I don't know if I said that earlier I'm naming this um, journal harmony and then on this side this was kind of fun to make so um, this is like a little um, I, a pocket but it's it reminds me of a fortune cookie I don't know why um, but I've made a little tuck spot back there with this journaling card and then inside that pocket I've added these little it's a little homemade little notepad you can you know use these to decorate your tags or journal cards or just write on them, uh, both sides of them um, but I have a tutorial on how to make these as well they're super simple and then down here is a little ticket a little tuck spot that I've just added a ticket there Again, some old accounting paper writing area um, here is a cluster with lots of different layers of um, lace, different types of lace and ribbon. And then I've just added this matching journaling card there. That is not an invisible tag, it's glued in, or invisible paper clip. And then a matching on this side pocket with this journaling card or tag, and then um, some stamping and watercoloring on the back there. And here, is um, uh, you can do use this as a tag, a bookmark, whatever you so choose. And then there's a, two pockets here, it holds this one with a little bit of lace and ribbon. And then again, another little blank, <clears throat> blank label there. This is a library pocket and card, checkout card. You could journal on both sides. And then we've got a little butterfly here. It's kind of 3D-ish and then some ribbon. And then this is um, the matching uh, ruffle, material ruffles that I've made and added. Um, and then I don't know if you've noticed each page, depending on what the paper is, I've tried to make the matching colors and, you know, be in harmony. Um, but this is cute. I love this. These cute little mini tags you can journal on the back. Um, and then I've added some little mushroom stickers there to go with this mushroom on this side. And this is a journaling card. Um, and then some journaling area for here. And then I've added some of these die cuts and then the word together. You can see the little babies down there. And then here is a little poem from Virginia Woolf. Um, I've tried to make these colors again match. And then you open this up, more die cut. 
and then it just extends the writing area. And then here is a tag that I've actually permanently glued in, and there's a little pocket here, as well as space in this lunch bag. And then here we've got this lace holding this little paper. You could use it for journaling on the back or, again, decoration. And then the matching paper here, I've just added it with washi tape so you can take it off and use it somewhere else. Again, some more, just some collaged paper. Um, look at that ribbon, isn't that pretty? I just love that color. Um, but I just added a little tuck spot here. You could write on all of that or even color it in because um, that's what it what it is. It's, you know, the doodle art or whatever it is. And then I've just added a little bit of stamping on this page. This was from a drawing or writing book. Um, again, more extra paper to write on. Some blue. This is from my elfin book, but I've just um, added on this side some gesso and some distress ink, to kind of fading out that um, the writing, and then you could just write right over this. I think on gesso, the best thing to write on is probably using a sharpie. Um, I don't know if a, a regular pen or pencil works well on that. Um, and then here with this daisy paper, trying to make that a theme, I've added this label with this uh, blue daisy here, and then this paper, and obviously it's just the same on each, it's double-sided paper. In that pocket there. And then here is some more of the paper flowers. This is a, a metal eyelet, and then I've added little rivets, little metal rivets in the middle with these large journaling cards. And then same thing on this side, the little label with the matching paper, the gessoed paper. Yeah, a little bit of watercolor there. And then here's a little um, corner tuck with this little card with that butterfly. And then here again, pulling in that pink color just to show you there's a pocket there. I've put that die cut in there. And then here's that other side of the sandwich bag. I've added, there's a tuck spot here with this postcard. Um, but this is another invisible paper clip that you can take off. But I've just added for this side, this is a, um, a permanent tuck spot there, but I've added this layered or collaged journaling card there. And it just kind of holds it in a little bit, both sides a little bit better. And then this, I've made these little four pockets and behind them is a bird on each side. Um, but again, it's using those uh, cards, but this time I left the actual card and covered up the, the backside of the card so you could see the number. So you could either put it this way to go with the blue um, or, you know, this way. And then there's a bird behind each one. I will leave these um, hidden so the person that, that uh, buys this will see that. But and then there's a little bit of lace there. This side I love this lavender purple and then we've got a little tuck spot here that has this journaling card and then this is my um, normal I usually try to put this my pull out that you would write on, on both sides of the paper and then I added a little tuck spot here with this paper All right you could just write on it has a little Paris stamp to go with this Paris theme here and then we have a little pocket back here and some lace, almost to the end. Okay, and then we've got this belly band with this lace flowers with this matching journaling card. Then back here, I've got this envelope. You just open it up um, and there's a matching big large journaling card in there. And then I've made this kind of an upside down pocket. So I just added this little this little tag, you could actually add it as a little pocket here just to show you there's a pocket there. Um, and then behind here, there's another little a little slot here for, for something if you don't want it quite as obvious that there's something there, maybe a secret word or letter or something. Um, and then we're back to the front. Thank you so much for watching it. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me. And if you're interested in purchasing it, I'll have the link below for where it is on my Etsy shop. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.